just wanted to show you the progress I've made on the charge pipes. I've been welding them and uh, getting it all fitted in place now that the intercoolers are kind of where they're going to be. So here's what they currently look like. These are the two that do a step down out of the throttle body and these two go from uh, basically the 90 degree to the start of the intercooler couplers. And I will put them on the car and show you what that looks like. So here you have it on the car. So what I did here is this was a mandrel bend and I it was a 90 and I took that 90 cut it right in half. That allowed me to have that um, small step down that you can see right there just coming right out of it. And that's just for clearance. The uh, bumper cover sits like right on top of there. So that goes down far enough that it will be over top of it. So I've done that on each side. This one took a little more cleaning up the weld than the other one, but then those just go straight here and they stop. And so I have these 90 degree couplers on each side going down there. And then this side essentially was um, the start of a 180. And so I just cut it right there and then used the short straight piece that was left over from making each one of those on each side to have a nice straight perfectly round piece to clamp to on each side and uh, I've give the, given them the two long pressure test and they seem to be solid um, so 
Uh, the first two welds didn't turn out great, um, but as I got to welding these two, they started to look a lot better. And uh, I'm pleased with it. I got good penetration. In fact, I was just dialing in the welder to try to figure out, you know, where it should be. And then it struck me um, to go look at the chart on the side of the welder. And I happened to notice uh, that I had it set to 3 and 50. And if I come over here and look at the chart, I'm welding with 0.024 and I'm welding six gauge, uh, 16 gauge. And that exactly said exactly what I had it set to. So I'd say at this point I'm starting to get a feel for the welder. Not, uh, not so much, you know, just uh, having to look at it every time, but more just lay down the bead, try to figure out, okay, a little adjustment here, a little adjustment there. And that's actually what happened uh, on this pipe is I had it set a little bit too high because we were welding some thicker stuff the other day. And uh, yeah, trial and error. So let that be a lesson to you before you weld the important stuff. Just go, you know, fiddle with something else that's not important. Maybe you have some extra stuff laying around. Weld that first. Then once you're confident you have the welder dialed in, come back and weld the actual thing you're trying to make. You'll save a little bit on materials if you do it that way. So when welding up my intercooler pipes, I needed to find a place to put my blow-off valve. And because there are two charge pipes, 
one from each turbo. That either meant I had to merge them somewhere to use one blow-off valve, or I could use two blow-off valves. Um, and honestly, I don't have a lot of room for two blow-off valves, especially very close to the intake. So what I've decided to do is make an H-pipe between each of my charge pipes and I've started um, by making this which is kind of the cross uh, section that will go between each charge pipe and so yesterday I welded this flange on and I've got a little bit of an adapter up to a little bit uh, higher diameter and then I've welded it onto this two inch uh, mild steel that I have now you can do that with a hole saw um, I actually just used an angle grinder to kind of make the shape. I put the flange on there and then traced out basically the size that I would need. And in doing that, uh, I realized it's actually really difficult to do that with just an angle grinder. Um, for the uh, rest of the 2 inch pipe, I have two more of these types of uh, merges, I guess, to do. And I'm going to use a hole saw because I have one that's the right size. but. I figured I'd try my luck at using a um, just an angle grinder to do that. I had to re-weld it a few times just because there was a few bad spots, um, but that is uh, basically my first attempt, and it's uh, it's sealed, so pretty happy with that. Let me show you uh, where that's gonna go. So here are the charge pipes, and basically somewhere in there I need to fit the merge. Um, you can see. Up near the intake, it would be really difficult to find any space up there for the blow-off valve. And since I'm doing all this in couplers and mild steel, um, I figured putting this like right in here somehow, yeah, basically like that. I'm going to make sure each side pipe is straight, and then I guess the person in front of me will just get a full dose of um, blow-off noise. <laughs> And this is actually an HKS. It is a Type 1, I believe. Um, it's a really old school blow off valve, JDM blow off valve. Courtesy of my friend Jordan. Um, I'm excited to use it. I don't have any expectations except for that it will be functional. So any cool sounds are welcome. To get the curvature of this pipe, since it has to meet up with another pipe, kind of like that. And you know, if you don't curve it, you're just going to have some big gaps there. So my strategy, uh, I noticed that these are kind of a similar radius, this corner of my belt sander and the pipe, the 2 inch pipe I'm using. So I'm going to just grind it down right here on the edge first. And then that should actually be a really good way to fit that on there. I did that a little bit with this one, but um, this pipe is actually a lot smaller than uh, 2 inches. So it worked a little bit, but I had to clean it up with the angle grinder. So I'll do that on both ends. And then I will take a hole saw to each one of these pipes. So essentially making a hole here and then a hole here on this side. I'm going to make sure that these stand straight up and down. It'll be a little bit tough to get the uh, couplers and stuff on with these uh, kind of being in the shape of an H. But it's going to be worth it. Um, that's pretty much the only place I can see to uh, put a blow off valve. And um, that's going to be the easiest one for me to fabricate. So... The charge pipe setup on here is actually fairly simple, so you know the H is probably not ideal. It might not look that pretty, but it's going to be functional. That is like every aspect of this build. It might not look pretty, but we're going to have turbo H6 power one way or another.